there's Cincinnati at home, Tulsa at home, uh, Temple the other night on the road. I guess a lot of the good teams were, we've had the lead in the second half and, um, um, you know, our, our depth becomes a big, a big factor between the 11 minute mark and about the seven minute mark. That's, that's where you wish we could, could rest our guys and take them out uh, like the other teams do. You know, um, uh, Frank Hayes is a good friend of mine. I've known Frank forever, but you know, <clears throat> Frank starting five, I think, has started every single game this year. Sometimes you have to have a little good fortune. You know, having LJ out, having the Mikel out so, um, is a factor. Come on up here, Wes. Is a factor. But I'm proud, I'm proud of the way these guys have hung in there. They fought. Uh, uh, I think the best way to, to, to describe this group, I, I describe them in two words, scrappy and resilient. Question? Coach, you got to be pleased with that young man of your list play that he can comment on that, please? Yeah, Wes is, um, you know, we, we give guys opportunities. You know, the guys that's been playing in front of Wes have had their opportunities and you know, we're, uh, you know, I've given Wes opportunities. You know, he's, uh, he's turned the ball over a little bit too much. Uh, but, you know, he, you know, we keep running him out there. And today he, he found his uh, groove. And, um, our guys kept fighting him for open shots. And Wes did what he can do. And the thing I like about Wes, he's not afraid. You know, maybe earlier in the year, I guess Central Florida at home a little bit, uh, to be expected the first time he's played at this level. So walk on, you know. Um, but um, he's gotten better through practice, and he's um, a tough kid. He's, he's, not, he's not afraid. I, I uh, respect that about him. Tell him the hustle stats. Um, you know, you have a lot of offensive rebounds, mm -hmm. and you guys give him those second chances. And then yeah. on the other end, mm -hmm. um, you know, early on, you guys are forcing some, some turnovers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we're the number one offensive rebounding team in the league, but they're, they're, we're number one for a reason. You know, obviously, we, a lot of teams don't. You know, a lot of teams have poor shooting percentage, but they don't offensive rebound. I mean, for us, that's how we get extra possessions. We're not going to beat anybody with our first shot. We're not good enough shooters. Um, but second and third shots will give us extra possessions, and we, and we need that with our, the team we have. You know, we don't have, we don't have a center. We don't even. I mean, we have we have what we have. So how can we, how can we get extra possessions? You know, loose balls. We, we got almost all loose balls tonight. When the ball was loose, we got it. Uh, we got second, second and third shots, um, extra opportunities. Um, I think Devontae had five steals himself. Uh, West drew a great offensive charge. So, you know, all, all, the, all the, and I call them uh, culture stats. And that's why you say, well, what have you accomplished this year? That's what we've accomplished. Because we were no good at that in October, November, December. You look at all those games we lost early, we were no good at that, no clue. But we've hung in there and emphasized it and uh, usually achieve what you emphasize if you have good kids. And we have good kids and, and they now they understand and now we play the way we have to play. So going forward uh, with this program, we don't have to start over next year like we had to start over this year. Coach, the offensive rebounds were up tonight. Focus on that. What's that? The offensive rebounds. We're number one offensive rebounding team in the league. So we do that every game. I mean, it's just, I mean, if, if you go back and pull up the stats, uh, all the way back to Morgan State, I think we had 26 offensive rebounds in that game. So, I mean, we're an offensive rebounding team. Um, but um, why don't you tell them what I, I had chicken do before the game? He, he, he asked, told chicken, he gave chicken a marker. He asked him, he said, how many rebounds, offensive rebounds do you think not not what he want, but what do Chicken want his team to get this game? And Chicken put up there on the board 20. Our, goals, our goal was to get 20 offensive rebounds. So that's who we are. But we work on that every day. Yo, at this point, I mean, you're, you're pressing nine. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you have the opportunity and you need to sub, and then Wes comes in and does what he does, I mean, as a coach, you know, you're putting the young man in there and you're hoping for the best and you want to get some scores. But to, to have those kind of ropes and see how he's, you know, yeah. comes in and he responds and, and then you have like somebody like Devontae who produces, you know, on a, yeah. on a, what, what's that mean? Just that, that, that being in a situation where your numbers are so down and yeah. you need to rely on everybody you can and, and he comes in. Yeah, well, don't, don't forget the first miracle is Stiggers is our point guard. 
Don't, 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 ever, don't ever take that one for granted. I mean, if, 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 you, if you would have told me after I got here last April that J. Ross Tigger's gonna be your starting point guard down the stretch, um, I might have stayed with the Rockets. <laughs> I've never felt that one. Um, but it, it just goes to show you what we've developed here as a team. Um, you know, and, it's, and then we have the kind of the, the next man up uh, mentality. You know, I knew Wes was going to get his opportunity. Um, you know, he's, he had to get a little confidence, though, and that's why today was important. And, you know, he moved ahead of some guys today. You know, I have good – I mean, um, um, Baker's had his opportunity. Weary's had his opportunity. Um, you see, you, the stats don't lie, you know. We, the, score, the scoreboard's up there for a reason. It keeps track of points. You got to have guys can make baskets. You know, we, str we struggle in that area. We don't, have, we don't struggle getting open shots. We struggle making open shots. What's for, for those who don't know your, your story, can you kind of take us through how, how you got here in terms of just with the team as a, as a walk on and then just your, your decision to, to join the team in, in that capacity? Yeah. Um... The connection that I made was uh, I played on TJ Ford's AAU team, so uh, he made the connection with Coach. Um, I had a meeting with Coach in the, uh, before the season and asked him could I join the team as a walk-on. Uh, he uh, told me his expectations. Uh, I knew I could follow those, so he uh, let me join the team and you know, I just try to work hard in practice and just stay ready. The it's, it's a lot of kids' dreams to play Division One basketball. So to be able to, it's, it's a lot different for a walk on in, in any sport because you're not guaranteed anything. But to, to kind of move up the chart, so to speak, and then, and then kind of come out with a game like today, does it just make it a little bit more rewarding that kind mm -hmm. of just like with your teammates, you all paid your dues and you've done some and gone through some ups and downs. But, but yeah, like I said, I just try to stay ready. You know, I try to shoot as much as I can. Just to keep my form right, uh, keep my shot right. It's a credit to uh, J-Rod and Devontae and all those guys who found me when I'm, I was open. To me, really, uh, I had the easiest part, which was just making an open shot, which I do hundreds of times each, each day. So credit to those guys. Devontae as a team to, to, get, to get a win. Yeah, it's been, been tough, close games on that road trip for to be able to pull one out. Especially late in the year, that help a little bit. You know, the team hasn't been down, but you know, just be able to get one. Right. I mean, like I like I said, I don't think it's I don't think it's just been tough. You know, for us, I don't, nothing that no one else does. I don't think make it tough for, tough for us. We make it tough on ourselves. You know, with as far as losing our losing our you know from stand not staying focused in the second half. You know, I think we struggled, you know, the first five minutes of the second half in every game that we played this year. And that's just, you know, like Coach said, in the middle of the season, before the game, he know we'd be ready to play because he can just see it in our eyes of, you know, after his prep talks or whatever. But going into halftime and coming back out and for us to be going, you know, away from the bench on defense, you know, that's where we're going to win the game at on defense. And, we can't we can't come out in in the second half and just start trading baskets with other teams or turn the ball over and letting them score and not not stopping not being able to gain defensive rebounds you know and like he said you know uh, our second chances ch second chance points we number one in that for a reason and you know it it only takes two people to get an offensive rebound and so one keep it alive the other one go grab it and I mean I think. I feel kind of like coach about J. Rod Stiggers. If he, if you would have told me he was gonna be the point guard, I don't think I, I don't know, I don't know. But I mean, J. Rod, J. Rod is a tough kid. J. Rod is a tough kid. Whatever coach asked me to do, you know, coach done stayed on. That's one thing. That's another thing about coach. You know, I really appreciate coach, and I think he, he really, you know, is a is the reason. You know, we won't give up. And we just keep fighting because he kept fighting for us and with us. And he never gave up on anybody on his team. As long as we show him that, you know, we we believe and, you know, we're going to continue to fight for him, he was going to continue to fight for us.
Tell me early on the, the success with the press yeah. and, and him making the free throws. Y'all got a yeah. nice lead difference in terms of keeping and holding the lead this time. It looks like yeah. y'all just that mentality. To yeah, well, our, our game plan during the week was to, was to come out and, you know, hit them in the mouth early. Uh, uh, you know, on the road trips to Florida, you know, we're, it seems like we lead everybody at halftime. Doesn't matter who it is. At Cincinnati, I mean, Cincinnati is really good, and we've led them twice, and and played them all tough all the way. You know, it's, uh, obviously they just wear us down with their depth. But today we wanted to uh, do something a little different. Instead of sitting in our zone, <clears throat> trying to keep guys out of foul trouble, we have to. We're fighting so many things here, not just depth and, and numbers, but also we, we can't afford to have guys get foul trouble. Um, so. We jumped up there and pressed them and, and uh, trapped them and got after them with our man-to-man, -man and, and we wanted to dictate tempo. And, and being at home allows us to do that. You know, we, I think we're up five against Central Florida on the road. We're up five, I think, against South Florida. Both games are very, very winnable. Um, uh, but today we finished it off, so credit to our guys. Proud of them.